Bon dia and welcome to Brazil, where we're kicking off the second part of the world tour of the Future Sensations Pavilions. After seven unforgettable days in Shanghai, the pavilions spent four weeks crossing the oceans to make their way here to Sao Paulo, the economic heart of Brazil. Right now, we are in Ibirapuera Park, the city's green oasis. And as you can see, the installation of the pavilions is almost complete and ready for the inauguration. I'm now here with Thierry Fournier. Thierry, as Saint-Gabon's delegate for the region, could you tell us what the link is between this futuristic pavilions and the day-to-day -day life of Brazilians? Brazil is a country which likes very much modernity, innovation and creativity and these pavilions are a very good example of what we can do in that sense. Uh, Brazil likes very much as well um, architecture and aesthetics and really we have fantastic examples once again of uh, what we can do. Last but not least, here we don't need very much uh, uh, thermal comfort uh, because the, the, the weather is very nice uh, but we need very much to improve acoustics. One of the pavilions is dedicated to this uh, and we will have to uh, take profit uh, of it uh, this week uh, in order to convince more and more about our capabilities of turning Brazil more acoustic country. And now I hand it over to Pierre-André Chalandard, Chairman and CEO of Saint-Gobain for the inauguration of the pavilions. Un aniversario de 350 años merece una gran conmemoración. Y por tanto, con satisfacción, que yo vim para São Paulo para compartir a mi alegría y mi orgullo con todos vosotros. Obrigado y aprovechen a visitarnos. 